hello again YouTube um, just a quick video today uh, the other day while I was on um, one of my one of the Facebook groups I'm a member of um, the subject of sleeping bags came up um, mostly about compressing them down to a sort of manageable size so it takes up less room in your pack uh, a couple of good points were made that um, you can put your sleeping bag in into your pack without the compression sack or stuff sack uh, which means you can often sort of wind it in and out of other kit or stuff it like line the sides of your pack with the sleeping bag and then put all your kit in the middle similar to that so it takes up less noticeable room um, and but the other way that I'm going to show you today is uh, that the easiest way to compress one down that's too big <laughs> to uh, to fit into your pack and uh, do it in such a way that you don't put too much strain on the straps or the, the plastic buckles while you're doing it. So I'll, uh, I'll get this sleeping bag out. Probably swivel the camera a little bit more around that way. So I'll undo this. And this is just a, uh, a three season bag, or three to four season, I think it is. Uh, it's supposed to be extreme rating of minus 12 or something, but it's it's not overly warm. It's a, a Challenger, oh, Pro, well, Pro Force Highlander, same company, uh, Challenger Light 200. Right, so this is the, uh, the sleeping bag. And you can see it's reasonably padded. And it's a normal sized sleeping bag. It's not a, a small lightweight thing or anything. Just to fluff it all out just to make sure it's all, well, a little bit more pluff, fluffed out. Uh, when you store your sleeping bags, you shouldn't store them in your stuff sacks. They should be opened out like this because otherwise the, over time this, the insulation gets compressed and they lose all of their insulation value then and uh, don't keep you very warm at all so uh, let's just have a look see what's i think this said the weight on this one yeah three to four season and the weight is completely missing off of there i think it's about one and a half kilos this one but uh right now the first stage once you come to put your sleeping bag away is getting it into your stuff sack now what a lot of people tend to do is sort of roll the sleeping bag up from one end or the other to try and get it into a sort of round shape that's similar to the size of the bag but uh, that's not generally a good idea because again when you repeated use of doing that when you fold the sides in and roll it up will squash the insulation in certain areas over time it will gradually get thinner and thinner in those points so what you're supposed to do is just start with the bottom because it's easier is literally just grab it and stuff it into the pack <laughs> like this and just do that in a completely random way and that that way over time the insulation is getting compressed slightly different directions at different times every time you use it so it's not going to sort of wear one point particularly thin more than another so that's the original reason why these were called a stuff sack before they started adding compression straps to them so once you get that in, squash it down a little bit, pull up the draw cord, so this one's actually got a little flap to stop it poking out the top, but uh, it doesn't matter about that. So do up the draw cord, move the straps into the position they're supposed to end up in, roughly, so you can tighten them up slightly while they're in that position. See, this is reasonably compressed still because I've, I've, I haven't had it out for long enough to sort of air it properly. But uh, what you should do is, once you've got it like this, is lean your weight down onto it and then pull the straps up. The easiest way to do that is using your chest to lean your chest onto it and then do a strap up each side. And then once the straps are tightened up, you can release your weight off of it. Because if you try to do it, just pull it down like this, you're putting a lot of force onto the straps 
to try and pull it down and that often leads to breaking of the straps so uh, I'll do that and I'll try not to uh, knock the microphone with my chest as I'm doing it so you want to lean into it like that and as you can see it squash, squashes and then pull the straps down turn it, lean it, pull the straps down so you can do this both ways up and you can gradually get it smaller and smaller and smaller and you, you will notice there's a point where it doesn't seem to want to squash anymore when you lean on it but and that's when you want to stop so you can lean against a stump or a tree or whatever like that rather than lean onto the floor but I just find it's easier that way so uh, yeah that's basically all I was going to say about compressing sleeping bags and uh, as I say doing it that way doesn't put too much strain onto the plastic buckles so if you just try and pull them straight down there it, it will often break the plastic buckles but compressing it and then doing it up and then releasing the pressure will normally be be fine for them so unless they're really cheap brittle plastic buckles I suppose but uh, most half decent quality sleeping bags I mean this wasn't a particularly expensive sleeping bag this one compared to what a lot of them are but never never broken broken any of those and I've had several of these make of sleeping bags so um, the the more padding you have in your sleeping bag the more you'll be able to compress it the more insulation there is the more you'll be able to squash that insulation down um, again this is probably the I mean it will apply to uh, downfill bags as well as synthetic bags but you want to try and avoid the amount of time you have it compressed so as I say when you're at home you get home after your camp open it out or under, under all the straps take it out of the stuff sack and hang it up somewhere and or hang it in a wardrobe whatever and it'll let all of the the insulation inside it sort of fluff back out again because otherwise if you store it too long in a compressed state like this it will ruin the insulation value more so in a down bag than in a synthetic bag and it's a lot harder to try and loft them as well so uh, i hope that's been of some use to you and uh see you in the next video cheers bye